Sa episode ng Facts About Plant, ibibigay ko sa inyo ang 10 facts about alopecia cinderiana. So hello everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Mark of the Jungle Plants. So if you are new here, kung bago ka lang sa aking YouTube channel, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe and click the notification bell below to update my new videos here in Mark of the Jungle Plants. In this episode, I, I will give you some 10 facts about this plant, our alopecia cinderiana. And also, I will give you some tips how to take care of this plant. So fact number one, Alocasia cinderiana is came from Philippines and is endemic to Misamis Occidental and Bukidnon. Yes, ang ating cinderiana ay dito lang matatagpuan sa Pilipinas. Tatagpuan ito sa Misamis Occidental and Bukidnon. Dahil ang Pilipinas ay isang tropical place, uh, nagtatribe yung mga alocasia natin, kaya madami tayong ganitong plants. However, the fact number two is this plant is in danger plant here in the Philippines. Pinapagbawal ang pagkuha doon sa bundok o kung saan-saan lang ito makikita. Pero, according to my research or according to the comment section of my all, all videos that I, I do, I did about alocasia, nag-comment sila, sabi nila, pwede daw mag-collect ng alocasia cinderiana basta naka, naparami na siya sa plant market. So, nabibenta din ito. So, fact number three, ang common name ng plant na to ay Chris plant. Hindi ko alam kung bakit siya tinawag na Chris plant, siguro sa kanyang mga dahon na ganito. So, fact number four, this plant can tall five to six feet. It depends on the pot size or nakalagay siya sa uh, direct to soil talaga yung nandun sa labas lang. I have here my cultivated one which is hindi siya masyadong lumalaki ng sobrang laki talaga. Pero yung ating mga cinderiana, yung mga uh, yung mga uh, yung makikita talaga sa bukid nun at sa misamis, occidental yung malalaki talaga na magaganda ang mga dahon. But I have here one is cultivated lang siya. Fact number five this one, uh, this plant actually can fight a bacteria. Like for example, can uh, clean the air. So fact number six, ang plant na to ay toxic. Medyo uh, pinag, uh, ano, pinapaghiwalay siya sa mga ibang plants kasi iba siya at toxic siya. Yung mga alokesya actually are toxic. They're toxic to animals and uh, humans. For example, ilayo na lang sila sa mga bata or kung meron kayong pets, pwede nyo siyang ilayo or ilagay sa taas. Also, cinderiana can do a flower when they get matured. Kung namamatured na siya, kaya kung lumalaki na siya ng todo, nagpa-flower sila. Pero alam nyo ba kapag mag-flower sila, kinakat yung flower para hindi mamatay ang kanilang mga dahon. Dahil katulad din ng mga aglo, kinakat din ang mga flower kasi namamatay din ang kanilang mga leaves. So, fact number 8, this plant is a house plant. Yes, madami nagkokolekta kasi uh, which is kahit siya endangered species, ang nagpapadami pa din yung mga plant market. And so, fact number 9, uh, this plant, uh, alocasia, has 97 species. There's a lot of more na meron ganitong species or variety na mga plant natin. So, fact number 10, this has a gorgeous leaf. So, as you can see, the leaves are so beautiful. Para siyang octagon na merong mga linings sa kanyang mga dahon. I don't know paano siya i-describe, pero para sa akin, this is so beautiful plant. So when it comes to the tips of how to take care of this plant, when it comes to watering requirement, I usually, uh, lalo na kapag summer, two days natutuyo na siya. Within two days natutuyo na siya. So I water this plant na kasi uh, kapag summer, uh, mainit at saka nag-dry yung kaniyang mga roots at kanyang mga uh, soil, ang kanyang soil rather. So, I used to uh, water this plant uh, every 
other day or alternately. So it depends kung season it depends on the season kung ngayon ay summer. Uh, soon naman ay yung rainy season, yon magdidilig na kayo uh, once a week or once to twice a week. And don't overwater this plant ha. Kasi this plant uh, don't need a lot of water. Actually, lahat naman ng plants ay uh, ayaw nila na na-overwater sila. Lalo na kapag yung pot nila ay walang butas na marami. When it comes to sunlight requirement, I place this plant in my terrace garden. Is nakakasagap sila ng morning sunlight. Morning sunlight lang sila. Ayaw nila ng afternoon or uh, yung uh, matinding uh, sikat na araw kasi nandun lang naman sila sa ilalim ng trees uh, galing so hindi nila hindi nila kaya yung matitinding araw na sobra talaga fertilizer goes I don't usually fertilize this plant kasi they are sensitive in fertilizing fertilizer rather <laughs> ayaw nila na fertilize sila lalo na kapag yung mga salty fertilizer like chemical fertilizer they don't wanted. When it comes to propagation, dividing, kung nila yung water propagation, hindi po sila nagtatrive, hindi po sila umuugat or nagkakarot. So, dividing is the best way how to propagate. That was our 10 facts about Alocasia cinderiana and I hope may natutunan kayo dito sa aking video na to. I hope you like and subscribe and support my Facebook page by liking it and sharing and following it. So, I will see you next episode because more plant, less stress.